Our story begins on the 17th of July, 1942. More than a year after the worst of the Blitz, and the Nazi bombing campaign is finally over. As the war rages on, Londoners attempt to rebuild the city. You've got to imagine a laborer in a bombed out chapel, a little bit like this, uh, in a place called Vauxhall, which is in South London. And he's trying to clear up all this mess. And there's this loose slab on the ground. is the grisly, decomposed remains of a human body. A lot of the flesh looks like it's been burnt away. It's in a seriously bad shape. It looks like this person could be the victim of a bombing raid from the year before. You know, thousands of people died during the Blitz. Bodies were routinely reported to the police. The police came and had the body removed and it was taken to Southwark Mortuary. And it was at that point that Dr. Keith Simpson, the Home Office pathologist, saw the body. Professor Simpson's career very much coincided with the time of the Blitz. This case really established him as one of the leading forensic pathologists in the country. One of the first things that Professor Simpson noticed when he examined the body was that there was a uterus, the womb, was still present in the pelvic cavity. So this indicated immediately that it was a woman. By examining the state of the soft tissues, Professor Simpson estimated that the person had died around 12 to 18 months ago. That means that this woman died right during the middle of the Blitz. And, you know, initially, yes, he thinks, yeah, they're probably a bombing victim. You know, London presumably had a lot of body parts lying around in bombed out buildings. So signs of death were everywhere. But then he starts noticing there's some very, very strange features about this corpse. You could see the head had been separated from the rest of the body. The skull had been cut off. The arms had been cut off at the elbow and the legs at the knees. Most of the identifying features of the body had gone, so obviously no fingerprints. Professor Simpson had seen some very strange injuries as a result of bombs, but nothing as strange as this. So Simpson is now beginning to ask some seriously big questions, and he's really wondering whether this is actually a bombing victim. 